We appreciate you watching News Channel 3 on this Wednesday. I'm Mary Beth Conley. I'm Alex Coleman. Good morning to you. At this hour, investigators are searching for answers in at least three different shootings across the city. We've been following this breaking news all morning long for you. And we begin with WREG's Quimitra Wilborn. She's live from North Watkins Street, where not one, but two different shootings occurred outside a gas station there. Quimitra, good morning. Good morning, Alex. Yeah, you know, I was speaking to a lieutenant who was on the scene earlier, and he says it was a very busy night for officers across the city, but especially here at this location in Frazier. Uh, he tells us that uh, that there were two shootings that happened at this location just hours apart. So let's get into the first one that actually just wrapped up moments ago. Just take a look at this video, this video taken just hours ago. According to Memphis police, they got a call around four o'clock that a woman had been shot by a man who was armed by a gun. It appeared she was inside of a car uh, when she was shot because when we got here, uh, the car that was on scene had its window shot out. That car has since been towed away. She was taken to the hospital at last check in critical condition. And as of right now, it's unclear if she knew the man who shot her, but he was not on the run for long. Memphis police say they were able to locate that suspect inside of the apple tree apartments, which is right behind the gas station. Uh, he is in custody at this time, but no word on what his charges will be. But like I said, that was only one shooting. That was actually the second shooting. The first shooting happened earlier on in the night. It happened around 10 o'clock and that was a homicide. Memphis police say a man was killed and a woman was shot. That woman is going to be okay, but they have no word on a suspect in that shooting. Now, despite these shootings happening in the same exact location, Memphis police believe they are not related. So if you know anything regarding that homicide, they're asking for you to contact Crime Stoppers at 528 Cash. Reporting live from Frazier, Kamitra Wilborn, WREG, News Channel 3.